Hello YouTube. Today's video is about a recent issue that I had with the check emissions light or commonly known as uh, check engine light uh, that came on on this 2010 Acura RDX. Uh, I think the problem that I'm going to describe is probably going to be applicable to just about any vehicle but I'm going to describe the uh, symptoms that I had on this vehicle. Uh, so the uh, check engine light came on so uh, I have a, a scanner uh, for the uh, engine computer uh, OBD2 so um, I scanned it and uh, it came back with uh, P0171 so P is in Paul 0171 and also the uh, the dashboard also had light on that says uh, service um, SH all-wheel drive so you know on Acros that's their name for a, uh, the all-wheel drive system so um, it turns out that uh, the two are related in, in meaning the P0171 uh, what that means is the uh, the engine uh, or the engine computer is detecting that the engine is running lean um, meaning there's uh, too much air uh, coming into the system into the engine so um, first thing I did knowing that uh, basically it says basically what that means is you got too much air going into the engine so I came to the uh, uh, the air cleaner box and there is an air intake uh, you call it a hose or a duct right and well lo and behold uh, that's where the problem was so um, I've already I went to uh, a local junkyard and uh, I got a uh, I got a used uh, uh, air intake duct right there so this already been installed uh, I test drove the vehicle uh, for like 20 minutes uh, already and uh, I erased the code and uh, I can tell you that that is the, uh, the issue uh, that's causing the uh, check engine light to come on or uh, on the dashboard it actually says check emissions systems so well let me show you what actually failed this is the hose that failed and it's very obvious that uh, you can see you know it's uh, it's got this uh, crack right uh, between those uh, those bellows so when I and that's pretty easy to see uh, but that's not the only place where it failed you look at here um, so this thing actually uh, it actually separated in uh, this uh, bellow spot and then this here as well and so that's that's what was causing the, uh, the, the engine to be running lean you got so much air going into the engine uh, so I don't know if um, it's because of the Chicago weather um, we've had some uh, pretty pretty cold uh, situations um, all the way down to uh, I think uh, a couple nights ago uh, it, it might have been uh, I don't know uh, uh, minus uh, minus two minus five something like that uh, so I don't know if that's you know maybe what caused it not sure um, but I, I did notice that uh, the old one, this this one I'm showing you, uh, it's pretty hard. It's it's almost like kind of it's almost like uh, kind of you know there's no flexibility within the rubber. And the one that I got from the junkyard actually uh, is pretty pliable. So I don't know maybe maybe it's just uh, this was a uh, poorly uh, manufactured part. So um, what I've actually done is uh, a, a new one. Uh, with shipping uh, at a uh, internet uh, dealership it's only about thirty dollars so I, I actually did order one and uh, a new one from a uh, dealership uh, and uh, hopefully it's going to arrive in a week or uh, who knows how you know with shipping nowadays how long that's going to take but I didn't want to lose use of the vehicle in the meantime so uh, uh, because you don't want to be running that engine lean you know and driving it uh, for too long it's going to damage the engine so uh, so right now uh, that's what I have and uh, once I have the new one in 
um, I'll probably put the new one on there and uh, you know that way I have a spare uh, you know this used one and uh, so that's about it and uh, so you know if you have a scan tool like I do uh, this should be pretty easy to fix and uh, so you know once you uh, once you do the uh, do the replacement and uh, you use the scanner to uh, just clear the code and uh, you're all set so you know $30 fix not bad at all uh, and uh, with that uh, I'll sign off and uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, God bless all of you and uh, Happy New Year have a good one bye